Hey guys, it's Gunan Stranix. Welcome to a much needed video on the channel. Uh, this video is based on the video I uploaded a couple of days ago of the X Particle Sphere Girl on Rock video that I don't know, it was a random name. But I'm gonna be showing you guys how I made it. So um uh here in my cinema 40 you can see that this is the scene that was used in the video. Uh, all like all nice and beautiful as always. But uh, I'm gonna hop into a new composition where I have the assets that I use, the Quicks Omega Scan from Bridge. Um, I don't know the exact, uh, maybe it's some one of these numbers or letters up here that are the, the, the name of the asset if you want to use it, but uh, yeah. So, but this doesn't have to be a rock that you can follow this tutorial where it could be literally any 3D object. But yeah, I'm gonna, I chose this rock because it had some nice crevices and nice shapes to it. So um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into polygon selection mode and we will select some polygons where we want our particles to emit from. So I want mine to be kind of from like the inner like cracks and crevices so uh, I'm just going to like highlight some of this stuff here and that should do it. So I'm literally just going to leave it at that you can like spend more time like highlighting areas and stuff but this is for tutorial purposes only, so we'll leave it at that. So when you have your poly selected, you'll do a shift key, set vertex weight, and set that to 100%. So where it's yellow, you will have emission. Where it's red, you won't have emission. So that's everything you have to do to the asset. You don't have to touch that anymore. So next, we're gonna bring an X particle system. We're gonna go into the emitter object, and we're gonna go to the object tab. We're gonna change it from rectangle to object, we're going to drag our object into the object tab and in the section tab you'll see here this is where we will drag our vertex map so this tells x particles where to emit basically like it's like hey only emit from the yellow area or else uh, i'll kill your family okay so that's the first first job uh we're going to set our speed to about 20 so i think we'll be fine so if we look here now actually to make it easier for the recording you see i will change this to circles so if I press play now, you will see that we are emitting from the area. Very nice. So we have also make sure you add an X particles collider onto the rock as well. Low bounce, high friction. That's all you need to do. Make sure enable collisions is turned down, but I think it's default on. Okay, so modifiers. We're going to drag in a follow surface modifier. Object. Drag in your object. Here we are going to put our pull to about 40. Offset can stay there. Distance we can put that to about 160. Uh, I put this to 20. And I think I put this to 12. And this one's 4. I think that's what I had it at. I'm not too sure, but friction, we'll put that to I'll put that to 8. I'd no, sorry, five. I, I had on five, so I did in the, in the video. So now if I press play on this, you'll see that particles are moving a bit more, but most importantly, they are following the surface. You can see that they're, they're following like the lines and like just, they're just following the surface. So we'll go back to the start screen just so we don't have a slow viewport. Um, next, we'll go back to modifiers. We'll bring in a gravity. Where is gravity? So we will set that to about 250, just so we don't have, uh, actually I'll set it to 200, so there's not too much of a pull on the gravity, on the particles, on my bed. Uh, so now we have, the, like I said, they're flowing, which is quite nice, looks like water, really crappy water. But yeah, that, that's it for gravity. Next thing, we're going to bring in a scale modifier. So I believe that's in control modifiers. Yes, XP scale. So for the XP scale, we're going to leave that independent, particle radius, chain written over time, and yeah, that's pretty much what we want. So we'll set this to 20. We'll set the upper radius limit to 10 because we don't want them huge. And we'll put this to 0.1 for the smallest. That's all you have to do there. Next, we'll go to mapping. You'll click add will scale change to over time will age so the older the particle is the larger the scale 
so for this what we'll do is I was just messing around with these values you can do what you want but I I was just messing around and I found that this is what w made it look like what I wanted so we'll just mess around with this graph here and we'll get it to where I had it before where I liked it so it w it's quite a low looking I don't know if you can see that on the recording but just play around with the graph to what you like and as you can see here the order they get the bigger they get very cool very cool so what's next we need constraints so bring a XP constraints in the connectors we will connect with burn and I set connection limit to 12 just so they can more connections can happen basically and also we will go into collisions we will enable collisions and yeah that's pretty much that for collisions so as you can see they all clump up on each other now and they flow around the surface it's quite laggy right now so that's, that's just because it's the sheer amount of particles um, I did have a headshot of a UI for X particles but I don't know where that's gone but just for tutorial purposes I'll put this to 500 for now just so we can see it little better so if we press play now you can see it works like that's that's literally it you can see that they start to flow over the sides and it, it just looks cool it's a quick simple little thing that you can make but um basically what i did next was utilities xp cache and then i did an internal cache uh, i'll do that now just so i can show you so we'll just quickly build that cache up oh that's a quick cache very nice so we'll just let that finish, it'll only take a couple of more seconds. 90% and perfect. So now we can play this through perfectly. So obviously when you're doing like a, a final render or cache, put it to like 2000 particles, un un unless you're a madman, go higher, but I don't think you need much higher than that. So basically, if you notice in the original scene, you see that the particles kind of slow down and then they start to ramp up in speed again yeah so this is simple so what you do is you go into your cache you go to playback you set the retiming to custom and literally you just uh, like after effects or anything else you just you do your inverted s or whatever you want to call it fast slow fast and you go back to the start and you do that's it like you can see they're slow and they speed up that's the tutorial that's it um i hope you guys enjoyed um to the person that wants this tutorial here you go bud this one's for you grab a beer enjoy yourself but um yeah i hope to make more videos soon work is crazy near christmas i apologize for not uploading more sooner i should have my apologies but um yeah if you enjoyed the video leave a like comment subscribe and hopefully in the next video i don't seem as awkward i'm not used to doing this don't judge me okay okay bye bye